Hey, David, I'm thinking about taking a trip to Disney World. That sounds fun. Then I'm seeing ads for Disney World on my phone. Is my phone listening to me? This actually happened. It was a news broadcast, and they tried to use this as an example. I'm going to Disney soon. Oh. And I wonder if I should Airbnb there. I'm planning this trip to Disney and all of a sudden I'm seeing Disney ads. It's almost like the app is listening to your conversation. Was that really true? No, in the way that they thought, yes. but yes, in ways that they didn't even realize. Yes. <laughs> It's true that certain apps do have access to your microphone because you gave them access it's to your, your microphone. Fault. For example, Zoom, if you want to be able to talk to people on a Zoom call, Zoom needs access to your microphone. But it's not true that these apps that have microphone access are constantly tapping our phones, listening for words and phrases that then they can send off to Google or some advertising network and immediately send us targeted ads. Right, but they don't have to do that because they have other ways to track what we're interested in, where we're going, and we're going to help you turn a lot of those things off. Right. But one of the really scary parts was the accelerometer data. The accelerometer is one of the only features on your iPhone that doesn't have to ask permission to send the data to wherever the heck it wants to. Accelerometer is what detects the minor vibrations. Let's say you're riding the bus. So let's say I have turned off all the privacy features on my phone. It's all customized and I'm, I think I'm really safe. Mm -hmm. I get on a bus to New York City. David also has an iPhone, but hasn't optimized his phone. What Facebook can do in other apps is they'll see that his accelerometer data matches mine exactly. Mm -hmm. And then they just know that we're interested in the same things. They know yep. we're going to the same places because that little bump data. So we hope that in iOS 16 or as soon as possible, Apple gives us the ability to turn off that sending of accelerometer data to everybody. Similarly, your location these tech companies can use your location and make connections. You know, if you have a spouse and you start seeing your ads that your spouse might see, it's because they were able to build that connection between your two phones and now you're seeing yep. their, their ads. Yeah, and it doesn't even have to have GPS. It could just use your IP address at home. It's also true that if you have Siri, hey Siri, Oh boy. Set up. Here there we, we go. go. Yep. There, there we go. There we go. It's also true that if you have Hey S I R I yeah, set up set on up. your iPhone, I don't want to say it out loud because it'll trigger. It's listening for those trigger words. <laughs> it's not recording all of your conversations all the time unless it happens to get accidentally activated. And there, there have been issues with that. If you're an Apple person, you're like, Apple's better than Android mm -hmm. and you want to win an argument, we're going to give you some ammo right here. Yeah, Siri data and your requests are not used to build a marketing profile and are never sold to anyone. That is not true with Google and Amazon. Right, they're actually using what you search for using the voice assistant to build marketing profiles and sell you products. Yeah. So is your microphone listening to you? In that case, yes. But the truth is that everything you do is, is just being tracked. When you scroll on a social media feed and you pause on a video for 37 seconds, they've tracked that. When you've added something to your cart and then you abandon that cart, that's been tracked. And they can also learn from your patterns. Amazon is especially good at this. If you buy cat food every two weeks, don't be surprised that two weeks go by and you start seeing cat food ads. There's also something called a frequency illusion. Let me read what that is for you. After noticing something for the first time, there's a tendency to notice it more often, leading someone to believe that it is a high frequency of occurrence. Put plainly, the frequency illusion is when a concept or thing you just found out about suddenly seems to crop up everywhere. So bottom line is that these big tech companies just have a million different ways to track you. What we're gonna do next is help you cut down on those tracking mechanisms. Right, we can't build walls, but we can build Fences. You've been out riding fences. Build some fences so that what you're doing in these apps is not then getting sent. And you know, you can't see the apps can't see into their neighbor yards. Neighbors. Neighbor you yards. Let's open the settings app. First thing we're gonna do is go down to privacy, tap on that, and let's tap on microphone. Let's just see which apps can access my microphone. And right now, a whole bunch is Google Maps. You need my microphone? I use it in the car for voice search. There you go. It works like half the time. It's yeah. very frustrating. Access to something like Twitter. I don't upload my own videos or anything with Twitter. I don't do their spaces you do thing. Your voice search. Voice search now. Yeah. No. So just ask yourself, does this app need access to my microphone? A lot of the time the answer is going to be no. Sometimes it'll be yes. If you're not sure, turn it off to be safe. And then if you're using the app in the future, it'll just tell you to come back here and turn it back on. So we just want to make you aware of that, but here are the real tips for you. Let's go back to the main page of the settings app. We're going to scroll down and tap on Safari. First thing to turn on, prevent 
Cross-site tracking underneath privacy and security. Cross-site tracking means that when you're on one website and you go to the next one, that next website can see what you were doing on the first one, or at least see that you came from there and possibly what you were searching for. This is gonna help put some walls up between the websites you visit mm -hmm. so they can't see what each other are doing. Yep, let's step back to settings. If you use Chrome instead of Safari, scroll down, tap on Chrome, allow cross website tracking. We're gonna turn that switch off. I think Chrome intentionally did the opposite of Apple here. You do? Conspiracy? Conspiracy? I think so. I think so. But let's tap back to the main page of settings and scroll up to privacy. Similar to prevent cross-site tracking, let's tap on tracking here. Allow apps to request to track, turn this right off. Facebook hates this setting so much they took out full page ads in the New York Times and said that if we turn this setting off, we're killing small businesses. False. Why? Yeah. This went on, allows apps to track your activity across other companies, apps, and websites, just collecting all this information about you and you don't need it for anything. Yeah, it's fuzzy too. It's like, if you don't understand specifically what you're signing up for, don't sign up for it. Turn it all off. Let's tap back to the main page of privacy. Scroll down to Apple Advertising, tap on that. Personalized ads, we recommend turning the switch off, turning off personalized ads will limit Apple's ability to deliver relevant ads to you, but will not reduce the number of ads you receive. Probably won't. You're still gonna see high quality ads mm -hmm. because apps don't wanna have low quality ads alongside their stuff. Let's go back to the main privacy page, scroll up and tap on location services. As we mentioned, location is one way these companies can really pinpoint who you are. And the word to look out for here is always. It's privacy, but it's also battery life. Mm -hmm. So whenever you see always, you're saying this app can always drain my battery. And I think that's even more of a compelling argument sometimes. So right now, Facebook has access to my location always, even when I'm not using What the heck Facebook. is the point of that? Sorry, Mark. So what us do while using the app, maybe if you want Facebook to have your location while you're using it, fine. Also be aware of precise location when this is on, it's just a more targeted location of you, also a battery issue. That's a pretty good start in the settings app itself, but there's even more because individual apps also have their own personalized ad tracking stuff in the app and they're, they're really buried and it's very frustrating. But I thought that we just did everything to protect our phones and you're telling me that there's more there's to all, do? There's always more to do. So let's go to the home screen. Jeez. Let's start. Quite the journey we're on here. Let's start with Facebook. So on Facebook, tap on your account icon, lower right hand corner of the screen. At least it's simple. Then, yeah, it's not. Scroll down to settings and privacy, tap on that. Then tap on settings. Then scroll down and tap on add preferences, then tap add settings, then scroll down to data about your activity from partners. Okay, if you're pulling your hair out at this point, we don't blame you. Use data from partners, turn that switch off. Well, yeah. that was a lot, but it's important. I mean, use data from your partners. We use data that advertisers and other partners provide to us about your activity on their websites and apps as well as certain offline interactions such as purchases. <laughs> that has to do with the Facebook pixel, which is on many, many websites. It's not nefarious, but it's it's the truth. And it is compromising your privacy. I mean, yes. Not, uh, it could be used nefariously. One thing we notice on Android is that they, you know, rather nicely put Facebook and Instagram right in one spot. Not the case on my iPhone. Unbelievable. So. Let's do Instagram Don't tell next. your Android friends that one because yeah. they can use that against you. Let's open up Instagram and tap on your account icon lower right hand corner of the screen and then tap on that hamburger menu upper right hand corner of the screen. Okay. We're gonna tap on settings. Tap ads. Tap data about your activity from partners. Again, use data from partners, turn that switch off. How about Twitter? There, totally secure. Yeah. Just kidding. Tap on your account icon upper left hand corner of the screen. Then tap on settings, gotta scroll down to find it, settings and privacy. Tap on privacy and safety. Scroll down to add preferences, tap on that, turn off that switch next to personalized ads. Unbelievable. I know that there are a ton of settings here that we're talking about. If you're feeling overwhelmed or stuck or searching for answers and you join our channel, we have a download of a free PDF for our channel members, so it's not exactly free, but it'll walk you through this entire process slowly, you can print it out and I know and it's a lot. You might want to print it out too because maybe you update the app. Sometimes these settings get flipped right back on. And yeah, it's true. And if they, we'll they, stay in touch with you too if there's new stuff. Yeah, they, exactly. might, they, they might move it around. They might hide it somewhere else when people start to catch on. And yeah, it, it gets, uh, 
bit overwhelming. It was overwhelming for me when I was like looking through all these apps and trying to find all this stuff and digging around. It just it took a long time. Well, and... yeah, I mean they bury it six levels in. Yeah. Oh wait, there are more apps. Oh no. Let's go back to the home screen. Let's open up Snapchat. Tap on your account icon upper left hand corner of the screen, then tap on the settings gear upper right hand corner of the screen. We're gonna scroll down. Under additional services, tap manage. That's uh, really descriptive. So tap on add references and you get a whole bunch here. Audience based, activity based, third party ad networks. Yeah, at least the uh, explanations are extremely large and legible. Yeah. So yeah. if you get poor eyesight, you're gonna have to be able to read those. Yeah, yeah. Turn these switches off. Disable third party ad and you're going to see pop ups. You will still see a similar number of ads if you disable this feature, but those ads may be less relevant to your interests. Disable. You may be less profitable for yes. us, AKA. You'll make us less money. Let's do another app. How about Amazon? Amazon, totally secure though, David. Yeah, Just I'm not kidding. so sure about that. Nope. Tap on your account icon, bottom of the screen, then tap on your account icon, upper right hand corner of the screen. Scroll down to go to your account underneath the account section there. It's kind of a small button. You're in the account section, but then you have to go to your account. Yeah, you're gonna start scrolling. Start scrolling to app preferences all the way at the bottom. Tap advertising preferences. Here we go, submit your preference. Show me interest-based ads provided by Amazon. Do not show me interest-based ads provided by Amazon. Do not. After selecting do not show me interest-based yeah. ads, make sure you hit that submit button. It's one extra step that they make you do. Make sure you get that thank you. Your preferences have been saved notification. Otherwise, they will not be saved. How about TikTok? That's uh, perfect. Yeah. Well, actually, you can't do this on TikTok because they have disabled your ability to turn off personalized ads in the United States. In the United States. If you live in the European Union, you've got the GDPR protecting you. Yeah. Oh, GDPR. Yeah. So go into your TikTok settings. I wish I could show you how to do it. I don't know how to do it because I can't do it on my phone. Yep. They used to let us do it, but now they're just selling our data and there's nothing you can do about it. Yep. So you could uninstall a TikTok app. Well, yeah, there's, but let's not go crazy. Let's not go crazy. We're not going to stop using TikTok. We hope this video helped you answer the question, is my iPhone listening to me? It's a nuanced answer of yes and no. No. Please give this video yes. a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. We'd love to have you as a channel member and a subscriber and video liker. Thanks for watching. How about TikTok? I'm sorry, there's just so many apps to change. I'm just yawning. How about TikTok? Yeah. Super secure. Yeah, what does Dick's Sporting Goods have to do with it? Well, it's because it's not related to Disney World. So then they would, you'd see uniforms for Disney World. You'd see clothes with Disney outfits. Okay. It's kind of cute. It's not really a good example. <laughs> sorry. That's all right. Make sure you get some on the lens there, David. Jeez. Mm. <laughs> did you get on the lens? No, I don't think so. Oh, you did.